So apparently, Twitter is considering banning Donald Trump, president-elect. Now, I don't know how true it is. I've got this information online as tech tips. Usually, he seems to have good information. I mean, from a technological standpoint, his information seems pretty good. So maybe this is actually true. Uh, the conversation, though, was interesting in the fact that they were really soft peddling the whole idea of they were like, well, we can't tell a company what to do. Well, yes, you can. That's what consumers are supposed to do. They're supposed to tell companies what they want. Now, the company doesn't have to react to what they want, but don't worry about the legal system. Don't worry about it. If I'm telling you that you should do this, that's my opinion. That's what I think you should do. That's what I think is a good business decision. Now, should it be illegal? No, I'm not worried about the law in this case. In terms of advising, in fact, they shouldn't take my advice because then they'll go into the dustbin of history where they belong because they haven't exercised good due diligence. They are inconsistent with their policies. They're inconsistent with what they have done as a medium. And they should be ridiculed for it. And this is just another example of how they are out of touch with reality. And they absolutely tread on the idea of free speech. They don't like it. Why are they in the information business if they don't like the idea of free speech? Certainly not in America. That's not a company that I think is representative of an American company. And companies like that should be sharply criticized. And I will continue to criticize them for being stupid. Freedom of speech is not a right. We need the freedom of speech. We need to hear what people think, regardless of what you think about them. We need to know where they stand, because if we can't have a free dialogue with people, yeah, people are going to get angry, people are going to get emotional, going to say stupid things. I would rather know it and have an opportunity to interact with that person in a casual way instead of making it a big deal. We overemphasize words, and we don't try to get to understand the ideas behind it and the emotions behind it and the reasons behind what they're saying. Instead, we want to label them. Instead, we want to push them off to the side. You're a hateful person. You're a racist. You're a bigot. Whatever. That's not what communication is about. Freedom of speech is so that we can express our ideas without being trampled upon, without being overly judged, in, thrown in prison, thrown out on the street, no longer a part of the community. The point of free speech is to encourage people to use their free speech. Talking about banning someone because you don't like what they have to say, because you don't like their political opinion or the way they express their political opinions, that's extremely arrogant and exceptionally naive about how important freedom of speech is. You don't need to regulate your service in this way. It just demonstrates your lack of creativity and understanding that people will regulate themselves. Give them the tools to regulate their own profiles. You just sit back and say, look, it's freedom of, of expression. Don't like it. Don't use a ser service. You're better off going down that road than you are going down the road of censorship. And it is censorship in the sense that you are preventing someone from speaking on your platform. So when people say it's not censorship, they're just not extrapolating it to the company as a term of censorship within that company. That company's policy is a censorship policy. Again, the freedom of speech is not just a right. It's a good idea. It is a good idea. And has worked well for the United States. And I don't know why it wouldn't work well for Twitter. Why do you resist it? 